Hey everyone, Rob here. We got some more updates on the earthquakes and the potential re-eruption at Fagbitsfest. So what we're looking at here is the earthquakes over the past 48 hours. And if you've been following the channel, you know that there's quite a lot that have occurred over uh, around Wednesday. And we had some really big ones, a 4.9 magnitude uh, that was definitely felt in the Reykjavik area. There's a bunch of other ones that have occurred. So if we take a look, we'll zoom in here on the map. You can see all of these ones with the green star are earthquakes with a magnitude of over three, which is fairly strong, which is why they are singled out. Uh, a lot of these, as I said, have occurred over, you know, previous to today. But if we're taking a look at the total over the last 48 hours, we're looking at in this area over 2000, you know, 2200 that have that have occurred. And the seismic activity, it's at Fagerfell is still high. And even since midnight, there's been about 2000 earthquakes in the area. And most of them are at the eruption area. So if we take a look at where these stars are, they are centered around that, that area there. Now, according to information from the Icelandic Meteorological Office's website, they were saying that conditions in the area are very similar to those that were seen in the run-up to the eruption in Gellingadalur, which began you know, last March. And so all indications are that if there is some lava, there is an eruption that goes through, uh, it's probably going to be very similar or in a similar spot to that area. One thing I want to take a look at is, let me just zoom in here for you. We have this here, which is the deformation that was sort of all the information processed from December 16 to December 22nd. And um, the deformation pattern in connection with the current earthquake is very similar. It's what, again, we saw in the run-up to the eruption uh, which began, as I said, March of this year. So all indications are that magma is making its way into the Earth's crust in a very similar way as before. And the GPS measurements show signs of overheating originating in the area where the seismic activity is the highest. And this is all from the Icelandic Meteorological Office. So therefore, they're saying that it's considered most likely that if the eruption does occur, it'll be in basically the same area as it uh, occurred in Gellingen But they said that it can't be ruled out that the magma will occur anywhere in the area from Natahai to Kaliat. So there, you know, it's a, it's a hole. It's like a red zone that entire area, and it could happen kind of anywhere. Another sort of piece of information I'm going to show you. Let me just zoom out on here. Is uh, you know this graph here, which shows the seismic activity from December uh, 22nd. Uh, sorry, December 10th, <laughs> and it appears on four meters, and uh, it's gone up and down. You can see sort of the graph here. Uh, the seismic activity has been going up and down, approximately hour-long clusters every few hours is what they're saying, and uh, it's from the area of kind of in the Natahai area, but most of the earthquakes are located near the volcanoes at Fagrosfeld at a depth of around five to eight kilometers, and of course, they are monitoring this very, very closely, so... It's, uh, it's, you know, they got the best, Icelandic's best minds on this, and there are some live feeds. I think MBF has a feed still of the area. Uh, unfortunately, I do not have permission to show that, which is why I do not link to it, but you can check out their website and you can see that, and I'm going to try and get some, uh, some live feed for those of you that are looking to have that on this channel. So that's all of the updates for now. It's a really quick, it's a lot of information being thrown at you. At uh, the end of the day, we still have all of these earthquakes going on. It's still felt, and uh, there is talk of a Christmas eruption in the same area. And the last thing we want to take a look at is just some of these numbers here. We can see these are the earthquakes with a magnitude of 3 and larger. There was a lot of them on Wednesday, but even today, which is Thursday, we can see that there have been uh, quite a few of them over 3. So... Yeah, that's it. Same old, same old in Iceland, I guess. It's earthquakes and potential eruptions day-to-day. Uh, -day. So that's it. And uh, I'll post more tomorrow if there's more updates. And who knows, maybe the next video I post will be talking about an eruption. So until next time, thanks so much for watching.